Okay, Battlegrounds was a, and is a, an exhibition that is very close to my heart. I co-curated it with Jesse Damiani. I had been thinking again about civil war for a long time and started thinking about contested sites. What is a contested site? As you see, this is Robert E. Lee being removed from his perch in New Orleans and where we, Don Dodo now has a piece in AR, a dancing acid frog with a disco Bee Gees soundtrack, which is fabulous. Anyway, um, so I, I, over many, many months, reached out to a number of different artists and, and invited them and, and asked, you know, what, what does this mean to you? What, uh, a very similar question to the question we asked the coordinates artists, where would you put, what, what, would you, what would you focus on and where would you put it? And then I think it's one of the biggest AR exhibitions ever. We, it was a lot of work. It was 24 artists and 30 artworks. And I wish I could show them to you all. This is also the first time AR ever made me cry. I'll just give you a handful of examples. Above, you see Nick Aziz's uh, piece outside the Orleans Parish Prison. And he was drawing a very clear and rigorous connection between the titans of the fast food industry and the prison industrial complex. So they, they, those were very much in bed and intertwined. And I remember when he told me he was gonna share this with the men he worked with inside, I just, I got completely choked up. And just knowing that it was out there in solidarity with, with them and, and their predicament was very moving. And below, again, this idea of reclamation. This is Chandra McCormick. The, there were a number of these churches, this Holy Family Spiritual Church, Katrina wiped them all out, decimated these communities. I mean, these institutions, neighborhood, neighborhood institutions, all of which coincided, not coincidentally, had female leadership. All of the, all of the bishops were women. And these are churches that had been vilified by, by white churches and um, other organizations as being black magic and voodoo, which they decidedly weren't. They were sources of tremendous support for the communities they served. And she it was very important to her that we not forget, that we remember and that we mark those places as, as essential parts of history. Again, quickly slavery time, site of the original slave pens in New Orleans on, I think it's Esplanade and Chartres. And this was also a call out at the time to the detention centers here, still relevant, obviously. Don Dado again, over the super, Superdome is a reference of the failed rescue attempts in, at, during Katrina. And then to the right, Ron Theron, very quickly, I just wanna play this. <laughs> so we put these two figures on the tracks, one black, one white, as if to say, and it's called Never the Twain Shall Meet. And again, using sound to enhance the experience, to deepen the experience, and to make it even more poignant and profound for those in, in person. 